name's Grandad. Hello everyone, welcome back to this week's vlog. Um, this is probably going to be the last vlog you'll see before we're actually in the water. Um, we haven't got a day yet, but we know it's going to be uh, Imminent. Yeah, big first week of October. So um, we've tried to cram in as much stuff because we won't have a video next week um, because we'll just be trying to get everything finished. Um, so in this video, you'll see lots of different things, all the preparation for us actually going into the water. So Ian's put the prop on and uh, it feels like things are finished now that's gone on. But, but yeah, there's still a lot to do. All the woodwork and stuff that still needs to be done inside the boat will show you after the launch. Um, stuff we've still got to do and stuff we have been doing but rather than try and edit it all this week we'll we'll pull it in um after the launch i've already put two coats of uh bitumen blacking on the hull um and there's actually still enough in the tin to do probably another another good coat actually yeah. we need to get plenty around the water line so uh we're just going to use up what we've got on that yeah if you can hear wind it's outside not me <laughs> my favorite job because it's easy is it twizzle time now no What was you going to say you look like in there, Reggie? Uh, oh. Millie's slacking. Keep going. It's because it's so hot. I thought it would be colder today. Mm. If it was cold, you would wish it was hot. Once they finished the undercoat, I could do the top coat. So two coats of blue. And now I'm going to put the green on. But because I want to sand this back so it looks more like um, old paint on a pole, I might only do one coat of green, I don't know. I don't want to put too much on because I want it to look worn.
trying to make myself a bit useful outside at the moment because uh, giving Eagle a hand with this pole because we're actually having some work done on the doors of the stern doors. Yeah. Um, Talon, the welder down here, um, has come over and he's changing the hinges on the stern doors because we've decided to have our doors opening inwards rather than outwards um, because we thought we might we might not be able to open them if we're up, up against, against the bank yeah. or or something like that and it's something that's been on our minds since we've had the build done so we thought um, we'd leave it till last minute to get yeah. it done <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it will mean we'll have a lot of touching up of the paint to do but um is that right touching up of the paint <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what the professionals say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but we've still got to paint the stern floor and uh, the bit round the back, so uh, we can do it all at the same time. That looks brill. Because the sides of the boat slant inwards, um, when the doors are open, they're at a funny angle. But we're happy to live with that because it works better when they close. And um, also it doesn't interfere with our canopy when they're closed. Now time to tackle a job I've been putting off for long enough. And I uh, thought I'd just put some more steel filings all over the boat by drilling a hole in it. Uh. It all look good to me. bigger bill bit through. Should follow that path then, shouldn't it? Yeah. Because we know some of you are amazed at our jigs we make. I'd say obsessed. <laughs> um we'd made yeah. a, a a wooden <laughs> jig that sat yeah. on the floor and held the the top square so it was easier for us to be able to um drill a hole straight down the middle and out the other end right through the center nanny of the didn't circle. trust me to do it <laughs> i did that. we worked we worked it out really good with the jig and um both had an eye on an each on each side and yeah it it went in straight i've often found that having eyes on both sides is always the best place isn't it to have your eyes <laughs> gets a bit confusing otherwise doesn't it both on the same <laughs> side of your face yeah and get a little dangly where we can make a little rope one couldn't we let's go in there you have a little thing a little pin in there what do they stop it coming out okay yeah let's have a look at the handle Using that soon, Grandad. <laughs> yes. So it's go that way to go that way, don't you? <laughs> we don't know yet. <laughs> we'll see where it goes when we do that. See which direction it goes. Looks lovely, though. It does look nice, yeah. It's nice sight for me, that is. We've had Andy and Katrina from uh, AJ Fenders make the uh, stern and bow fenders for the boat. Brilliant couple, I mean, we had a right laugh. I've never been to quote. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not a bad thing, is it? You may have noticed as well we've had to silence a bit or blank a lot of the uh, banter that we had at the time when we was fitting the fenders, although it was hilarious. I don't think it'd get passed very well on. <laughs> don't think it. You It'll know. definitely get blocked. Howdy, partners! Yeah, that'll snap. Give way. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah? Yep, brilliant. So if that gets caught underneath now, it'll rip that so. Yeah. So all you'll have to do, another shackle on there to join them back together. Right, yep. Yeah. Brilliant. So you don't do the side ones, the side ones just it no, just flops down. Do. That, that'll go anyway. Right, okay. If you've got that trapped under a guy, it'll just open up anyway. Right. And if it's on if you're going up and it, it'll just push down. Yeah. Brilliant. Now what you do, put it on, then you have to take it off. No one is slow. Yeah. To make sure it's you know what I mean. I know, Black. It's on and on this layer. Yeah. I'll take me out after what you've done. And I do. It's past the rudder. Yeah. 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 I like that. I do like that. One. It looks yeah. really good. Yeah. It's, it's lovely. Bob on, mate, that is. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, brilliant. So, does that one have a weak link as well? or? I wouldn't bother because no. that'll go. That'll right. straighten out, honestly. Okay. Right. If that gets caught, yeah. it'll flip up and the old lot. You got this in the way anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. That they'll they'll straighten out the what's now. Yeah, I'm yes. just gonna adjust the front one now. also gave us uh, a lesson in splicing all our ropes for our um, centre lines and stern and bow ropes um, but we weren't very good no. <laughs> even with video footage we weren't very good so what we're going to do we're going to keep practicing this splicing and then when we feel confident enough that we've done it right um, 
we'll show we'll do a video we'll shall do, we? yeah we'll do a separate one for that i think yeah or include it in another one yeah but at the moment we're absolutely rubbish no yeah i think <laughs> we've got better i want now to, we've done I about want, six i wanted to make a noose by the end of this <laughs> <rather than> yeah. <laughs> So the middle one comes up over this one through there. And that one that you've gone over goes into under the one you've just come out of on the other side. Stop that a minute. I bet if he watches this, he'd be laughing. Mm. What, what we're doing. So I've turned it over. So you take your first one, your centre one, looking at this then, and decide on where it wants to go through this rope. We've got Andy on slow motion here. That's why there's no sound. And his choice his choice of words might not get approved <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> might be a long video. <laughs> I've got our make already. Filming. <laughs> so, sort of. It does follow a pattern though. Yeah, when you look at it there. It but looks... just when it gets to the end, it might go a little bit. Oh, well, it's not bad for an amateur, is it? <laughs> We've got lots to practice on. Uh, be kind, Andy. <laughs> right, so this one there is a back splice. So what you do, you've got all that like that. Yeah? That one comes round. So I've got that one like that. That one comes round and over that one and over that one. Yeah? This one then, keep that one there, goes round and through. This is called a crown nut. Okay. And it stop it stopped, it blanks it off like the rubber. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So all we do is lower down as possible. Just over 
în undă. Looking the same, Grandad. Yeah. It's because it's so soft and unravels. But at least you haven't got to use like it. Like my life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Brilliant. Brilliant. What do you think? I feel it. That's, that's, <laughs> that's brilliant. But the look, it looks better, it doesn't, doesn't it? it? Doesn't all, mate. Do yeah. you think? No, yeah. 100%. And what we do, we put a bit of heat shrink wrap on. Yeah. Right? And you could put it. What yeah. we do, just put it there. Just, yeah. yeah. When we've cut these off, yeah. Finish it up. Yeah. Cheers to Andy for the loan of this hot knife. I could actually do this bit. Well, I, I burnt myself a few times, but anyway. Yeah, thanks Andy for the loan of that and we love the fenders and you've done a brilliant job and also as an aside, thanks for helping with this little em medical emergency we had on the day but that's between us and Andy. Right, another job, the gangplank and we're just using a old scaffold board. Uh, we took all the bits of metal off around the edges and the, the any nails that were in it and uh, Grandad's given it a coat of primer before we um, paint the top <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I, I cut up a car mat and um, oh my god yeah, as a grip and I've asked granddad to glue them on for me don't worry granddad I'm not going too fancy with the gangplank I'm <laughs> just keeping it simple but I just want to make sure that it's grippy that's all well, it's definitely grippy <laughs> I'm using the non-slip pearls that we used on the roof. Um, they say they're pearls, little glass balls, but it's just like powder really. You just mix it with your paint. And I'm coating the hole inside of each step, as well as, I know we've got the rubber grip, but um, that glossy paint, I can imagine, gets really slippy. So 
I've done it on this side just in between the the rubber and then on the other side I've done the whole thing in a uh, textured with this stuff in a textured paint so um, if we ever want to use the other side but without the rubber bits yes yeah <laughs> We've got a variety, <laughs> var <laughs> variety of non-slip items on the boat. <laughs> yeah. Choose which way you walk on. So to get away from all the painting back on the boat, we took a day out to Willington to Massive. mainly spend some more money at <laughs> Midland <laughs> Chandler's, um, but to buy all the bits. But first we had a good walk round and uh, went to the little cafe boat that's there um, and we had our lunch there and the kids loved it but they were more interested in the conversation that another family was having <laughs> at the back <laughs> rather than talking to us but yeah it was lovely it was the first time for them to actually be on a be on a narrow boat inside on the water so uh, they were so excited when we got in I said that to you before, haven't I? That's not what I said. I thought it said anchor. <laughs> now pick it up. Can't. fits through both then. Yeah. So we just need to get another one of them yeah. ones. Yeah. Because we've got one of these ones but it don't fit through the chain, so yeah. um we'll have to get another one of them ones. And then we can put this one. The anchor we've bought is 20 kilograms and then we've obviously got 7 metres of chain shackled onto there and then 10 metres of rope. Yeah. So just take the river into overall. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Being deeper than that. Yeah, I shouldn't imagine it's going to be. And then we'll have to splice to the other end. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Now for the weed action. This is a this is a job on my to do list that I've been waking up in a sweat about at night. Really, um, it's such an important part of a narrow boat. Anybody that's not into boating or narrow boats, um, this is an access point to your propeller. You can see the propeller through the hole. And so when you're on the canal, if anything gets wrapped around that prop, it's obviously not a good thing or weeds and stuff. So you need to get access to that. So this is where you do that from. But um, it's also important to make this seal because if you don't have this seal properly and fastened down when your propeller's spinning, obviously water can run wash up through that through that. Uh, box if you like and then it goes into your engine bay and starts to flood your engine bay and it wouldn't be long before obviously before you sunk before you sunk so this is like a neoprene tape that we're just cutting and it's got an adhesive side as you can see just sealing all the all the edges all the way around 
and then the weed hatch will fit onto that bolt down and then there's uh, no well there's no chance of it leaking if it's uh, screwed down enough yeah it's something that you've got to keep checking yeah and, and remember that you've uh, well remember that it's actually the lids on for yeah, a start yeah and that it's uh it's probably the most down. important part of the boat isn't it really well you just see so many people that have uh, had accidents and sunk because of the weed hatch yeah so um yeah so it's something we've been scared about forgetting <laughs> to do <laughs> So these are the two centre lines, we have a two centre lines, port and starboard. And it's a bit windy so I hope you can hear us. So the idea of these is that they're going to go together and there's a hook on the centre line hook on the boat there. People can use, you can use like a shackle around it. But um, Andy came up with this one. This is what Andy's given us for doing that. And it's to stop you, if you've got a shackle on, it's going to rub on the paint. So he's just up well, he makes these as well. So you slacken those off, you'll hook that through your center line eye down there, then pass those through you. So that goes around the center line, and then this will then go through there. Start pulling it all up from all the way around. All the way around. Tightens it up again. It tightens it onto there. So that'll be attached to the boat. And then your two centre lines can run down either side of your boat. Good idea. Brilliant, aren't they? So to slacken them off, you just pull on the which side it is. Another side, one side, this side. Take them off. There's a meter of rope in that. <laughs> Believe it or not. Told us. Yeah. Pull that through. Clever. There. So the last job on the list is to um, put all our fenders together, the make ones we've made and the ones we've brought, to actually attach them to the fender holders and we can sit down at night and uh, just start splicing all those ropes. Will you be? <laughs> now we're experts. <laughs> <laughs>